let me discuss about a statocyst which is known to be an organ of equilibrium it is also considered as a balancing organ this structure is found in all invertebrate animals whether it is hydra or a highly developed echinoderm in all such forms we find the presence of a statocyst as a balancing structure so these structures are found in many invertebrate phyla starting from nidaria up to echinodermata see nidarians are diploblastic animals where as echinoderms are triploblastic highly evolved non cardate animals they are considered even to be closer to cardate animals because they are deuterostome so in all forms of non cardate animals the presence of statocyst as an organ of equilibrium is known these structures show similarity in their morphology as well as function so in this diagram you can see the arrangement of cells here a single line of cells are shown which form a circular structure these cells are sensory cells they possess hairs sensory hairs in their inner margin and these hairs are actually directed in internal matrix in a central matrix which is filled with a thin fluid you can consider this fluid as an endolymph and inside this endolymph a solid structure calcium carbonate rich structure is there this structure is called as statolith and all these individual sensory cells are innervated by fine nerves these nerves unite and make a single nerve which will be actually part of central nervous system or it will be connected with the central nervous system of the animal okay in lower forms definitely only sensory cells will be present around the statocyst and will help in uh, conveying the and other cells that some kind of disturbance in the body position has occurred so in fact uh, uh, we find that this arrangement of cell as well as neurons or nerves will be similar in all forms of invertebrates and function wise we can simply understand that the statolith which is almost centrally located in the matrix will deviate to one side when there is disturbance in the position of the body when the body actually deviates to one direction it gets disturbed in its position then that results change in the position of statolith so this statolith will be creating pressure to the sensory cells of that specific area to which it has deviated and that is specific uh, event will result into depolarization of the cells and the event or this particular change will be conveyed through the sensory nerves to the main nerve of the animal so animal comes to know that its body position has actually changed and it will try to uh, balance its body accordingly so this structure is a uniform structure means you will find such kind of structure present in the uh, invertebrate animals whosoever possesses a statocyst now you can have a clear look of uh, a statocyst if you dissect an arthropod animal like uh, a prawn its generic name is palimon so this uh, animal is available in uh, laboratories or it could be uh, purchased from the market and we find that palimon possesses several pairs of appendages uh, if i tell the exact number 19 pairs of appendages are there in prawn and the first pair of appendages is antennule so you can see the presence of statocyst at the basal portion of antennule and the basal segment of antennule is precoxa so the position of statocyst is there in precoxa see here this statocyst is being innervated by a nerve actually there is antennulary nerve that uh, innervates different portions of the antennule and it's one of the branches comes and joins the statocyst so 
you can separate out antinul from the body of a palimon and then you can make a cut on the either side of precoxa see on this side as well as on the other side you can make a cut and then you can open the two layers of precoxa the external two you know flaps could be opened and uh, then you can see that internally the small structure round structure you know which is little bit darker in color that is structure is a stratocyst and you can locate it then you make a cut of this structure with the help of um, a blade and if you will observe the transverse section of a stratocyst under the microscope you can see that centrally there are so many sand particle like structures which are actually stratoliths okay so all these structures make stratolith which are actually sand particles and then around it sensory cells are there so these are sensory cells and uh, if these cells get stimulated then uh, this information will be conveyed uh, to the brain and other parts of the animal's body and around it connective tissue sheath is there the outermost layer is made up of cuticle so in majority of colleges and universities students are able to dissect out a stratocyst because this animal palimon is easily available over there and uh, by uh, dissecting out this structure they can have idea about its position and definitely as i told the function of this uh, uh, stratocyst that stratolith will be uh, going to one side according to the change in the position of the body and uh, consequently it will affect the sensory cells and this information will be conveyed to the nervous system of the animal